welcome back to Cooking with Katrina with the K and not just food only. All right, well, right now, guys, you are at my induction ceremony. It is virtual, yes. You guys can see it with me. My name should come across the screen whenever my college come up. But I think they already passed it. Maybe they'll show it again. It hasn't started yet. So right now, you see it's like, 1.3 thousand people that's viewing so yeah all right guys i'm so excited i'll see you guys in a little bit once they get started hey friends do y'all see my name have it came up there yet no not yet huh there's me y'all y'all see me katrina kirkland yay <laughs> Some homemade powdered sugar donuts. Let me show y'all how to do this real quick. I just discovered it myself. Some of y'all probably already know how, but hey, let me show you how I do it. All I use is ground cinnamon, nutmeg, biscuits, sugar, canola oil, and powdered sugar. Okay, so what we gonna do? If we're gonna take so what a, I have done is I've mixed a half a uh, tablespoon of nutmeg and a half a tablespoon of cinnamon and a half a tablespoon of sugar for our mixture. So we're gonna stir all this up together real, real, real good because this is what we're gonna coat our biscuits with to make it taste like the donuts. You don't taste the sugar. I mean, you don't taste none of this. You don't taste the nutmeg, you don't taste the cinnamon, you don't taste the sugar, you don't taste none of this. It tastes just like a donut. Okay, so let me go ahead and mix this up. And then I have our canola oil over there heating up on the uh, burner. I used about two tablespoons of canola oil. You don't need a lot of oil because you don't want them so, uh, drenched in grease. So don't use a lot of oil. Use about two to, two to three tablespoons of oil. So I'm letting it get hot right now. But all right, let me go ahead and mix this up and pop this old can of biscuits open real quick. And I'll see y'all back here in a minute. Okay, so now that we have our biscuits open, we're gonna start coating them with our mixture. And I went back in and added a half a tablespoon more of sugar to it. So yes, let's start dipping. Make sure they're coated real good. Give them a little shake. I thought I was gonna be making like some cinnamon rolls or something. I thought, like, ooh, let me, I came up with this little bright idea. Let me try this out. But they end up tasting like donuts. You could uh, even probably fill them too in the middle with some uh, filling. You could put some, make some glaze, some icing and glaze them also. Yeah, my little donut concoction, I'm talking about they taste just like donuts and they, they, they're real good. They're better, I should say, they're, uh, they taste better when they're served hot or warm. They're really good, fresh. Yes, 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 really good, really good. I'm gonna say, I got me a new snack now, a little new cheap snack. Let's open these cans, this is fine. Yes, you can even make it with the kids. I mean, not with the hot grease. I mean, you would have to do the hot grease, but the kids, they could shake it around, mix up the mixture, and at the end, they could sprinkle the powdered sugar on there. Fun activity. But yes, do it yourself, donuts, baby. I think this one is good enough. We're gonna go ahead and put it to the side over here, see how they look now. Donuts in the making, donuts in the making. Well, let me go ahead and finish these up, friends, and I will come back to you guys in a minute. So I'll see you guys back Okay, here. friends, so I tried to get fancy with it and make it look like a donut. <laughs> We're gonna see how this turned out. But yeah, try some, try some different stuff, y'all. Well, let me try to make some more. I have a couple more, so let me try to make them look like donuts too. All right, y'all, I'll see y'all back here in a little Three little ones. 
right here. One, two. Well, it's a big one because I used two uh two doughs, two uh biscuits rather. <laughs> but okay, let's get to frying. I think our grease should be hot now since we already have our donuts ready to go. I just want to make sure the grease is hot enough. Yeah, I hear a little. We're going to let it get a little hot. I'm going to come back to you guys once it gets a little hotter. So we can have us some donuts and ice cream and celebrate this induction into the Honor Society. Yes. All right. I see how I'm going to live Our oil is now hot. So let's go ahead and drop one in to see. No, it's not that hot. Oh, yes, it is. It just started bubbling up. Okay. Yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and drop some more in. Let me drop one that looks like a, shaped like a donut in here. Let it go ahead and cook. So we're gonna let these cook for maybe about a minute or two, but don't let them cook too long. Make sure you watch them and flip them. And, you know, just keep flipping them back and forth so they don't burn. But let me go ahead and put this down so I can do that so they don't burn. First batch of donuts ready to go. Ready to go. I'm sitting over here letting them cool. I have another batch in here in the skillet. Yes, baby. Coming along real good. I reshaped some of the biscuits too. As you can see, we have more donut shaped uh, donuts instead of the biscuit shaped donuts. But all right. Let's so finish. we ran out of oil. All I did was added a little more to the skillet so that they could continue to cook. And I cut my uh, fire down a little bit too because they was cooking a little bit too fast. But yeah, coming along, coming along, y'all. Donuts, donuts, donuts. <laughs> I can't wait. They be so good too. Y'all can thank me later. Try. We are on a roll, friends. We only have two more donuts on the side to cook. We have all these already ready to go. Yes, cooling over here. Oh my God. Yes, 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 yes. I can't wait, I can't wait, I can't wait. So let me go ahead and try to flip. Cause remember we don't want them to cook too long. We want them to cook long enough to where the dough is ready, but we don't want them to burn. So you have to continually, continuously flip <laughs> the donuts so you don't burn them. See this one cooking faster than all the other ones. But you can use any biscuits. You can use the cheapest biscuits to the most expensive biscuits, but you can use any kind of biscuits you want to use. Right now I'm using um, some cheap butter biscuits. Yeah. You can see the butter. You see that right there? That's the butter inside the biscuit. So I'm using some cheap butter biscuits. But um, yeah. So I think we're going to flip again. I flipped maybe about five to six times just because I don't want them to burn. I want them to cook, but not burn. All right, I'll see y'all when I'm on my last two. Boo! See, you just went in. Yes, the last two just went in. There go the big one right there. Yes, baby. And these are ready back there. Cooling. Ready to be sprinkled with some of that powdered sugar. We have yes. all our donuts ready. We're just going to let them cool for a little bit, a couple minutes. And then we're going to add our powdered sugar to them. And they will be ready to be eaten. Yes, eaten. <laughs> Let me get my ice cream ready, baby. Time to celebrate donuts and ice cream by Katrina. Just fixed us some ice cream. Yes, some candy crunch. Can't wait, can't wait, can't wait. So good, so good, so good. All right, now let's go ahead and sprinkle the donut. I'm going to be using this little strainer to put my powdered sugar in to sprinkle over the donuts here. Friends, donuts are ready to be served. We have our homemade powdered sugar donuts. Quick and easy. All you need is a can of biscuits, some nutmeg, cinnamon, and sugar. That's it. And some oil to fry them in. But hey, you'll have you some donuts. 
All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it's helpful. Hope you liked it. <laughs> Try it with the kids. They'll enjoy it. I'm sure they'll enjoy eating them as well because I know I enjoy eating them. But anywho, I want to thank you guys for watching Cooking with Katrina with the K and not just food only. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment down below. Um, turn on your notification bells for new videos, friends. And yes, everybody stay safe, stay blessed out here in this world. And I shall see you guys hopefully soon since this is the end of the semester for me. Yes, end of the semester. Thank you, Jesus. I'm going to take a little break off the summer before school starts back up. But I've been doing tests, um, homework, just a lot of stuff before this semester ends. But yeah, finals next week. So hopefully I'll see you guys soon. If not, I'll see you guys after finals. All right, friends. Stay blessed. Bye.